Yeah, so Gorodor is a Norwegian thrash metal band. Uh, we're located just outside the city of Trondheim. Uh, we initially started in uh, 2019, but our first demo got uh, delayed because of the whole pandemic, but it was uh, finally released earlier this year. We have a second demo on the way, which is more or less finished recording-wise, so we hope to have that out as soon as possible for you. Uh, Corolder uh, consists of Ketil on vocals and guitars, Harald on bass, Andreas on guitars, and myself on drums and vocals. And inspiration-wise, we listen to a lot of different stuff in the band, but I do think that in our music you can hear inspiration from raw sounding classic trash acts like Slayer, Destruction, Old Metallica, Sodom, and so on. It was Ketil who came up with the name Corroder, and we all thought it had a cool ring to it. The meaning of Corroder, which is, you know, a process of destroying metal or a form of deterioration, I think that fits both our music and the lyrics on our first demo quite well. So yeah, it's a great fit. First demo was recorded at the Dream Farm studio with uh, Ura Langli, which I previously played with in other bands before uh, at the helm. Uh, and it was a really great uh, experience to be able to work with that studio uh, and him. And as a, a new band, we chose the songs that we felt were the strongest and the most coherent together, sounding-wise. And as for as the lyrics, uh, they're all quite, I would say, hateful, vengeful, even raging, uh, which is not hard to get inspiration for when you look around at modern society, I guess. When I write lyrics, I don't sit down to write about a distinct theme, it just all kind of comes naturally. But uh, about the lyrics on our first demo, I would say that it contains quite a lot of kicks at uh, herd mentality in different forms and especially herd mentality in groups and subcultures where you wouldn't think that it is as prevalent that it actually is. So the cover art for this uh, demo was made by Kim Holm. Uh, he's an amazing artist who's based in Bergen here in Norway and also often goes under the moniker of uh, the Unge Herr Holm. We found the motive online uh, so we shot him a message telling him, telling him that we thought it would look great uh, for our coming demo and asked for his permission to use it and yeah he replied it's up for grabs so sure so thankfully we could uh, use that in this day and age you can basically do everything yourself but i do think that it does really help to have a strong, dedicated label in your back as far as if they can help with some financial support, promotion and so on. So yeah, of course, it uh, certainly helps strengthen the impact uh, of your music. As a relatively new band, we have been focusing on writing, rehearsing and 
recording our music, so we haven't had any shows booked yet, but I do hope that we will be able to play concerts in the not too distant future. So uh, we haven't had the chance to make any epic fails uh, on stage yet either, but with the previous bands, have I, have I had any epic fails? Yeah, of course, uh, and they were probably alcohol related. I don't know as far as new music, but uh, as of right now, I'm living a short period in Copenhagen, in uh, Denmark. So I was recently to a concert with uh, the death metal act called Undergang, uh, which was really great, uh, really rotten death metal. And uh, earlier I was also at Killtown Death Fest, where I saw Dead Void, uh, which was a really great concert. So I'd urge anyone to check those two bands out. Aside from the effects that have already taken place, I don't know. Many bands have, of course, done much with the live streaming thing, which I think will get more and more normal as time goes anyway. But most importantly, I think that when restrictions are eventually lifted more and more in different countries, people are really eager to go out and hear live music again, which is great for any music scene. And from our local music scene, I'd uh, like to suggest people to check out the death metal band called Nexorum. They have a record out which you can find on Spotify. Really good stuff. And uh, also Ketil, our guitarist's other band called uh, Goat Ahead. Also really great stuff in, if you're into that sort of racket death metal. So, as mentioned, our second demo is soon to be finished, so it's the release that one. Uh, and like I said earlier, right now I'm living in Copenhagen, so when I get back to Norway, which is soon, we will start to rehearse again and write, uh, eventually enter the studio and let's see what comes out of that. And hopefully we will be able to play some live shows in the near future as well. So we just keep on writing, rehearsing, recording and hopefully playing live. Cheers!